The Saints have hired three assistants within the last couple of weeks, and I think what they're doing slash trying to show us is, hey, they believe Derek Carr is the franchise. They believe Derek Carr is the future. And so what they're going to do is they're going to bring in people around him that they feel like can build him up and he can have more success with than he did last year. So the Saints hired three assistants. They hired Derek Foster as their senior assistant slash run game coordinator, running backs coach, however you want to uh, however you want to tab it. His last three years he spent with the Chargers. He worked with Austin Eckler, who ironically has led the NFL in touchdowns in total over the last three years with 44. And, you know, when you when you see Derek Foster coming in, again, he's a young guy as well, just like Gary, uh, excuse me, just like Clint Kubiak, just like Keith Williams, who I'm going to mention as well, Keith Williams being 35, another staffer that came over to the New Orleans Saints. I'm really hoping that Derek Foster can maximize Alvin Kamara again, just like he did the last three years with Austin Eckler. And within those last three years, again, Austin Eckler has 44 touchdowns, which is the most in the NFL. We know that Alvin Kamara was rookie of the year. He was an insane dual threat running back. His last three years of production, he's really fallen off big time compared to those first four years. We saw him with a 14 touchdown year. We saw him with a 16 touch, you know, rushing touchdown year. One receiving touchdown this year for Alvin Kamara. And, you know, he's just fallen off big time. You, the rush yards are down year over year. He's not as explosive. But when you look at, you know, Clint Kubiak, when you look at Derek Foster, when you look at the quarterback coach, Janoko, they're all under 40 years old. So they're trying to get significantly younger in this front office, which is good. I believe youth in this league is great. A lot of the young players on the league, do you need some older assistants? Do you need some old heads in there to make sure that they can, you know, be on their P's and Q's, give them that structure like an Andy Reid, you know, like a Bill Belichick, like a Mike Tomlin, those veteran presences that can help with the locker room? Absolutely. But when you're looking at Alvin Kamara needs to be rejuvenated. Like people are out here saying Alvin Kamara was cost the Hall of Fame over the last couple of years because of the mismanagement of him. And we understand that Sean Payton wasn't there with Drew Brees to call the plays. And it's been a Pete Carmichael and Dennis Allen now really running the helm. And it's been it's been horrible ever since Payton left. But it doesn't mean that the Saints can't go out and get a guy in Derek Foster who can at least give us some promising experience to make Alvin Kamara better. We got Keith Williams. He's 35 years old, coming in from the Ravens as our new wide receiver coach. He ironically worked with you guessed it, Derek Carr and Devontae Adams at Fresno State just a few years back, of course, before Carr, uh, you know, obviously about 10 so ten years or so ago before Carr came into the league. And, and you know, this kind of shows that the, sh- that the Saints are buying in on Derek Carr's people and trying to max him out. They brought in Foster Moreau last year. They brought in Brian Edwards. They brought in Jonathan Abram. And, you know, I, I respect the position that the Saints are taking on this because, like, they've told us Derek Carr's it. Um, I can only cross my fingers, hope, pray, and curse at the top of my lungs when and if we do or don't take a quarterback in the first round of this year because I still believe Derek Carr should be made the highest paid clipboard holder in NFL history. But if you're going to say, okay, you got $100 million guaranteed, we just restructured you to keep you here longer. So I'd probably be scratching my head if the Saints weren't making these type of moves and bringing these type of people in. So it shows that they're buying in on Derek Carr, which again, I respect, uh, I respect, I agree with. I don't like the restructure, and I don't necessarily like how it feels like we're becoming the New Orleans Raiders or the Las Vegas Saints. But at this point, it is what it is. He signed. He has the money. Let's just see how we can make him better. You got to do what you have to do if you're going to commit to a guy like Derek Carr. And then we bring in Rick Dennison who is older, he's in his 60s, but he did work with Clint Kubiak in Minnesota as the senior advisor. We know Clint Kubiak is now the new offensive coordinator of the Saints. We're hoping that he's the new rejuvenation, the new new light for this team. But Rick Dennison worked with Clint Kubiak in Minnesota as the senior advisor on the offense. And Gary Kubiak, who is Clint's dad, was also the offensive coordinator for the Texans in 2010 to 2013. Gary Kubiak was Clint's dad. Uh, excuse me. So uh, Gary Kubiak, who is Clint's dad, was the offensive coordinator for the Texans from 2010 to 2013, in which John Benton, who the Saints just hired as their O line coach, was the offensive line coach in Houston, also from 2010 to 2013. So the Saints just brought in a guy in Rick Dennison who can help with the offense. He's worked with Gary. Uh, he's worked. He's worked with the offensive coordinator's father. He's also worked with Clint as well, who we just brought in. He's worked with the offensive line coach who uh, he's worked with the offensive line coach who we just hired, who was also next to Gary Kubiak and Rick Dennison back in the, you know, the early 2010s with the Texans. 
So again, you know, the kind of how I said earlier with Kyle Shanahan needs to get out of the way and let his, you know, assistants and coordinators do their thing. I kind of feel like that's what Dennis Allen is doing right now. Hey, Clint, you're the new OC here. You're taking over for Pete. Go hire your staff. Okay, great. I'm going to go get a running backs coach and Derek Foster, who's young. He just got Austin Eckler to lead the NFL in touchdowns over the last three years. And we have a waning running back in Alvin Kamara. I'm going to bring in Keith Williams, who is only 35 years old, coming from the Baltimore Ravens as their, you know, now the Saints new wide receiver coach. We just saw what the Baltimore Ravens were this year. He worked with Derek Carr. He worked with Devontae Adams. I know Devontae Adams isn't coming over here, but he worked with our, at the moment, unfortunately, franchise quarterback. So they're going to buy in on him. And I'm also going to bring in Rick Dennison, who worked with me in Minnesota, who knows my dad well, offensive coordinated for my dad, and also worked with our new offensive line coach. So they're just getting familiar here. They're trying to build this system in the second year of Derek Carr because they've showed you, again, restructuring, buying in, kicking the can down the road. The Saints still can't convince me that they want to win football games. But I'll tell you what, with moves like, like this, they they might just have me fooled. They might just have me fooled.